This week our travels take us here to the beautiful city of Long Beach, California, where believe it or not, you can RV right downtown within walking distance of all the major attractions. Like behind me, the Queen Mary, which has been docked here since 1967. Let's explore Long Beach, California. The city of Long Beach is that other city along the Pacific Ocean south of Los Angeles. Often overlooked because of its larger cousin to the north, Long Beach offers visitors a great blend of history, culture, and wonderful attractions in a convenient setting along a beautiful bay. It's an easy walk to most of the downtown locations. But you don't have to walk because Long Beach offers free downtown shuttle service. We have a passport bus system that actually will pick you up at all points around the downtown and take you to the aquarium, to Shoreline Village, up to Pine Avenue, to the restaurants, or over here to the Queen. The Queen Mary was purchased by the city in 1967 and has been a huge tourist draw as a floating hotel ever since. You can stay overnight in one of the beautiful staterooms, have a gourmet dinner, and walk the famous decks and ballrooms, where the rich and famous once strolled during Atlantic crossings between 1934 and 1964. This is a perfect example of why she was referred to as the Ship of Beautiful Woods. The ceiling is all Mazar birch, the walls are maple burr, the columns here are cherry mahogany or macquarie from West Africa. Right here. For a fun family experience on board, there is the popular Ghosts and Legends tour that explores the dark recesses of the huge ship. So there are ghosts on this ship right now? Yes, supposedly over 600. 600? You'll see many of those spirits on the special effects tour that takes you through the first class swimming pool, down below the waterline, and into the boiler room of the ship, where the show includes an emergency evacuation. Show, huh? I do. We yeah. bumped into RV Today viewers Doug and Vicki Jones who were visiting Long Beach and had just finished taking a tour of the Queen Mary. How are you enjoying RVing? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love camping, so it's great. And just RVing adds to experience. Enjoy your uh, time here in Long Beach. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. And thank you for watching the show. Appreciate oh, yeah. it. Yeah. We enjoy it. We really do. And here's the great thing about RVing in Long Beach. You can do it right downtown at a beautiful tree-lined campgrounds. The Golden Shore RV Resort has 80 beautiful sites with full hookups, all within walking distance of the major Long Beach attractions. Downtown Mary Shoreline Village, the marina. The uh, actually aquarium is just 15 minutes to walk from here. We also have the uh, Catalina Landing Terminal. So I'm guessing it's kind of hard to get a spot here. You have to call ahead for reservations? Exactly. We take about a year in advance reservation. And I guess we're letting out the secret now, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to change the name and call this a little bit of heaven. Little bit of in heaven. In the middle of the city, there's just a little bit of heaven. <laughs> I like that. You should do PR for the campgrounds here. <laughs> it's a five-minute walk from Golden Shore to the Long Beach Aquarium of the Pacific, a favorite with local school groups. Right behind us, the exhibit you see right here is actually, uh, I believe that's our third largest exhibit here at the aquarium. This is the Blue Cavern Habitat. It's about 142,000 gallons of water. It represents a dive site off of Catalina. These are our touch pools here at Shark Lagoon. And it's a wonderful experience because we have over 200 sharks, which our guests can actually touch. Including this one right here. That's right. This is a zebra shark. It's a juvenile. Mm -hmm. And the reason they call it a zebra shark is because when it's young, it has black and white stripes. But as it grows older, it, the stripes turn to spots. You can find your own fresh seafood at nearby Shoreline Village that features plenty of great restaurants. This is also the location of the Rainbow Rocket, one of the newest Long Beach attractions. Well, the Rainbow Rocket is a fast, fun ride. It's uh, meant for the whole family. We go out for a 45-minute speedboat ride out into the ocean. We hit the big waves, crank up the rock and roll. So here's
Here's another great way to explore Long Beach. You rent one of these Duffy electric boats and cruise Alamitos Bay right about sunset. The boats will take you in and through the scenic canals around Naples Island, another popular area of Long Beach. The city has an active cultural side as well. The Long Beach Performing Arts Center features a wide variety of shows every year. And if you want to get dinner and a show, check out La Opera on Pine Avenue, where fine dining comes with opera. To pack even more adventure into a Long Beach destination, there's an exciting day trip opportunity that starts right downtown, an excursion to Catalina Island. It's a fabulous day trip. The boat ride over is only about an hour, and we have many departures, so uh, you can have any kind of a day trip. Morning departures, midday departures, come back in the afternoon or the evening. Great trip. Okay, Avalon, let's explore. The best way to see Catalina, on a golf cart that rents for $30 an hour. Right now we're heading up into the mountain to get a real nice view of the casino. It's gorgeous. The view from the top is worth the trip by itself. The crescent of downtown Avalon, highlighted by the famous ballroom and theater, constructed by the Wrigley family in 1929. Back then, the, the, the ballroom had many of your big band um, orchestras that would come over, Glenn Miller, Benny Goodman, and they would perform uh, for people to dance. And the building, and in the theater, we were showing uh, talkies, which had just started about 1929. The elegant ballroom and theater have been restored to their original beauty for the 75th anniversary happening this year. The small city of Avalon has retained its original flavor over the years. You'll find some 35 small hotels, restaurants, shopping, and fun activities like sea kayaking off the coastline. Yeah! We'll see you later. There's just so much to see and do in Catalina and Long Beach, hard to pack it into a weekend. Guess we'll have to plan another visit here. Next today, we test the Jayco Legacy, a well-designed fifth wheel. Full size range here and a microwave.